If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. All y'all black men talking about y'all from the leader country because y'all sick of black women and y'all sick of our attitudes and y'all sick of our masculinity and y'all sick of us having to take care of ourselves. Guess what? We don't give a fuck. Bye. Because we want white men anyway. So I ended up seeing this clip um, by way of a video that I watched online by uh, O'Shea Dude Jackson. Back at it again. So, you know, I ended up uh, seeing this clip and... Um, I'm just paying attention to a lot of things that I happen to see online. Um, in one of his videos, he was stating how uh, you have all of a sudden women online complaining about uh, men getting passports and going elsewhere, right? And as I told y'all before, um, in a live stream or whatever it was, um, it, it's somebody got to figure out something so the, because the math is not math. If women online are just sitting up there saying that, you know, men in general are broke, they're dusty, they don't have no money and all this other type of stuff, then how is it that these dudes are able to acquire passports? They don't got no jobs, right? They can't afford to have no jobs. All of them are on child support. All of them in and out of jail. All of them can't afford nothing. They can't do nothing for y'all. So how is it that they're able to afford this this money? Right. Like I said, the math is not math. I need people to really pay attention to what is transpiring. And that further goes into this here, where you have the women all of a sudden magically caring. It's not like they really care. They're doing all this for content. Um, they're just literally doing this for content. Dudes have been doing this for, what, 20 years? More than likely, dudes have been doing this for 20 years and, and talking about this for a very long time, probably even longer than that. Uh, because, you know, you had a lot of dudes that were in the war. Right. And they, you know, or in the military or what have you. And they're forced to basically travel. They got to, you know, pick up, relocate, go to a different base here, different base here, different base here, different base here, different base here. So a lot of those men who are part of the military and have to move around a lot, they're going to be able to have different experiences versus the men that are just here in the United States dealing with stuff in the United States. So they get to sit up there and see women from all over. They get to conversate with these women. They get to look at the the culture, right, and different things like that. So you have those men that have those experiences. Then when they get back home, they sit up there and tell their friends of the experiences that they had. So then their friends are like, oh, well, that's the experience that you had. Well, let me sit up there and, you know, and see what it is. Let me see if, you know, what you're saying is true. So then they sit up there and save up their money, what have you, and They'll get a passport and then they'll go flying out to, you know, different areas around the world and trying to see, like trying to validate. All right. You know, let me see if what he's saying is true. This woman right here. In a sense, made this video, she's made a lot of videos, but the this one video in particular, if you roll through the comments section, right, you'll end up seeing this response that she left to somebody. She said, thanks glad some of y'all caught the humor so right there is letting you know exactly what it is a lot of these women that are on social media that's talking that now want to start bringing up this topic they're hopping on the bandwagon all this they never even cared originally they never cared this was not something that was even on their radar more than likely a lot of them didn't even know that things like this were even happening because as which i stated to you before which you can hear online a lot of women will say what? Oh, men out here, they're broke. They'll be dads. Uh, not good for relationships. Not good for women here. Not good for women in general. Y'all can't sit up there and do nothing. Y'all don't have no type of value. Y'all this, y'all that. You know, it's, it's, it's every single thing negative, right? But magically, when you say all of these negative things and you see these dudes basically showing off that they're taking trips here, going here, going here, going here magically it turns from them now being broke which you stated right all of us are broke now it's oh y'all trying to run we don't really care why y'all telling us what it is that y'all are doing this is the thing if you have guys out here 
right and we're going to just generalize if you got guys out here making content where they're talking about their experiences and i'm just talking just solely talking about their experiences there's nothing wrong with that i've seen i've watched tons of videos of women out here talking about their experiences around the world and i don't see people rolling up getting mad but i do see content being created around the fact that you have men especially black men getting money and going out to a lot of these other places and they're having vastly different experiences they're able to in a sense uh breathe they're able to see situations differently right because if you look online some experiences that men have had is the fact of what you normally see in the language of social media you're dusty you're broke you're worthless you ain't this you ain't that you're a man and the greatest of all you have some women basically say i'm more of a man than you are so if this is what you have men running into if these are the things that men are continuously hearing then like anybody else if you're in an area and everything around you in a sense is being negative towards you you're going to sit up there and relocate and switch positions because maybe if you do that things will transpire differently maybe you'll be able to see the world a little bit differently right because this is my mentality i would think that people would want in a sense black men to breathe they would want them to have different experiences they would want them to in a sense not be um in a jaded or a broken or in a negative type of area right because if you have somebody that is going through something negative and this is something that continues to happen day in and day out day in and day out day in and day out right that means that that one person is going to end up putting that same hurt directly onto another person but if you have a person that is hurt and they're allowed to basically move around they're allowed to see things differently they're allowed to sit up there and have different experiences which means that if they talk to somebody else and i'm just talking about conversation sake they talk to somebody else and they're getting looked at differently right versus what normally transpires that's going to sit up there and change how it is that a uh, uh an individual right or man um basically ends up seeing or perceives himself right so you have a lot of these dudes traveling and more than likely they're getting compliments that they've never heard they're getting attention that they've never heard they're seeing people that are just genuinely you know actually interested in them minus the the videos that i've seen where you got women online saying that oh all of these black men are sitting up there flying and yada 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 to all of these countries and all y'all sitting up there dealing is is with prostitutes all of these women i want to deal with black men with, pros, uh, with passports are prostitutes and i'm just trying to figure out where such a huge deep generalization of other women from other places around the world where that specifically comes from so if a dude goes to africa are we saying that if if a, if a dude goes to like china are we saying that if a dude goes to korea if dude goes to uh south america if a dude goes to the the uk if he goes to switzerland if he like like i'm just trying to figure out like where where are we going how far you know are people willing to go with that generalization about a part of the world about another group of people that they've never even had an experience even being around it's just an assumption it's not even a theory <laughs> you know it's, it's not even a theory really it's just like some type of you know broad like assumption when it deals with uh things like this but i'm probably just going all over the place at this moment but um uh, the main thing i'm saying is that you have to pay very close attention to what is being placed and I've said this in a, in a multitude of videos before. Like I said, magically, all of a sudden, you got women now wanting to get angry at dudes taking trips and going here and going there when they were just complaining about the very same dudes not being able to do nothing for themselves. And then as I stated there and I stated this now, if 
you have the guys that you are not interested in that you say that you don't care about and they're doing all of this stuff that means if those guys leave that the field should be cleared and you should be able to just directly go after and see the man that you've always wanted to sit up there and go after there's no reason for you to be blind there's no reason for you to have to sit up there and try to find a needle in a haystack all the guys that are leaving are making it way easier right for the women who want to find those specific guys but when i look online when i look on social media that's not what i'm hearing that's not what i'm seeing i just see women complaining about guys that they're not interested in leaving the united states and wanting to go out there in the world and do whatever it is that they want to do like i said it's completely backwards and it's baffling to me and um like i said i, I just really feel like a lot of people out here don't really know what it is that they want that they want um you know at the end of the day i don't know